Hello and welcome to today's video break. We're in Psalm 33, 12. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he chose for his inheritance. And wow, when I read, when I go through the Old Testament and I read the kings that come, you know, into reign, and there's some that it's interesting, they'll say, and I, and I love this verse. When I get to this verse, I get so excited that he followed all the ways of the Lord. And then at the end of his life, he tur- you know, there was something that he, something happened in his heart where he turned from God and then the nation fell. It, that makes me sad. I'm, but I love the first part where it says, and he followed the ways of God. And yet he left the Asherah poles, you know, that he left some other form of wickedness, worship in, in the place. But there's nothing like the king that destroys it all, that takes down the Baal, that takes down the astral poles, that completely submits his nation, his land unto the Lord and listens to the words of the prophets and restores the house back into the place of worship that it was intended to be. And man, that is such a good season for that nation. And you can read that over and over in the Old Testament. And I look at it and think it's no different than our nation today, you know, that sometimes it seems like we walk through this season where it's people are more attuned. The nation is one nation under God. We're no longer trying to to take that off our money, to take it off our currency, to take it off, you know, to to be a nation that's going to serve the Lord. Now, we all hope and, and, and dream of that grand possibilities where all the other gods, you know, we're not trying to break God down you know, like God can be broke down, but some people think because we take the nativity off of their, off the land that God is still not going to be worshiped. It's, it's, it's so, it's so funny what people will do to try to get people's eyes off of God because it offends them. And I'm thinking, no, it just, it actually, I believe sometimes it even brings more attention to God because it seems, well, God is greater than a nativity scene. Now, I'm not saying any of those things are wrong or right. What I'm saying is that allow yourself to be that that person that is going to serve the Lord no matter where you are. It takes one person at a time to build a nation, right? And instead of complaining about the destruction, the, the complaining about the things other people are trying to do, to turn our eyes away from the Lord. Let it be that place where you step in and start surrendering and praying even harder for the nation, for the leaders of our nation. You know, that's <laughs> it it's it's scary sometimes when some people rise in the political fields and people just get thinking that our nation is going to be, you know, just to fall to pieces. But let's pray for the leaders' hearts to turn towards God. May they be surrounded by influencers in their life that are going to help them to see that they could serve the Lord with the position, no matter what place of leadership you and I have, no matter what place of influence that you and I have. That is the greatest place that God has given us to serve him as Lord. Not, not, I mean, Lord, where every part of you is in humble obedience to him as Lord. Ah, how blessed a nation is when the influencers, when leaders, when you and I serve this nation, serve the places that God has placed us and allow him to be Lord of our life. Be blessed serving him as Lord today.